Skegness, Lincolnshire, the worst seaside town in England. Why is that so much hullabaloo and brouhaha about Skegness being a good town or bad to live or visit in England or the entire UK? It is not honestly easy to ignore all those hubbubs and furor. We know you must have heard about this at one time or the other, especially now when the internet currently is agog with a debate on which one is the best seaside town and the worst seaside town in England or in the UK as a whole. And this may have caused you to wonder if truly Skegness, Lincolnshire is the worst seaside town in England, according to popular opinion. Do you have to wonder so much when Learning Canteen is here to do the worry for you? Oh, we have to acknowledge the fact that it is not everyone here that have been involved in the debate, either mentally or on the web. We know, quite well, that some of our viewers might never have even contemplated this matter. While this location might not be everyone's cup of tea, everyone will find it informative by the time we come up with a position you can trust. What is more? Apologies to those who may need to know more about the Skegness in Lincolnshire. Please lend us some seconds to tell you more about this place at the centre of this controversy, and that is exactly where we are starting from. About Skegness Skegness in the East Lindsay district of Lincolnshire is a seaside town. We also need to tell you that it is a civil parish and that it is located on the Lincolnshire coast of the North Sea. This town is 69 kilometres east of Lincoln and 35 kilometres northeast of Boston. Skegness is the largest settlement in East Lindsay while also incorporating Winthorpe and Seacroft to form a larger built-up area with the resorts of Ingoldmells and Chapel St Leonard's. Skegness is on the A52 road on which it connects with Boston and the East Midlands. It is also on the A158 road where the town connects with Lincoln. There is a Skegness railway station with trains plying the Nottingham to Skegness line via Grantham. Is Skegness the worst seaside town in England? We do not want to be the judge on this matter. We will propose our position so that you can choose whether or not to agree with us. We shall refer to the popular survey that sets tongues wagging. This is not the first time the poor old Skegness will be poorly rated. However, in the most recent survey involving more than 4,000 holidaymakers, Skegness was ranked the worst seaside town in the United Kingdom. The survey asked them to rank the seaside towns they have visited. They were specifically required to rank all features of those resorts. The iconic beach resort in Lincolnshire achieved a score of just 49%. With that, it is at the bottom of the pile again. It would seem difficult to agree that this traditional English seaside escape got such a ranking. What has gone wrong and makes it look like things have all gone downhill with this resort in recent years? OK, let us look at those features rated and see if we would agree with the number of stars they were given. Seafront and Pier – two stars. This is the main attraction of the town. While wondering why the holidaymakers gave it a mere two-star rating, we considered how short the pier is. Skegness was in its heyday in the 1970s and remained so until late that decade when the two large chunks of the pier were washed by a powerful storm. The landmark became severely stunted. The leftover, which is now largely on land, doesn't allow visitors to have as much view of the sea as they would see in other iconic seaside towns. Fortunately, there came a respite in the announcement made not quite long ago, according to the BBC, that a £3 million takeover of the seaside town would restore it to its former glory. Food and drink. Two stars. We almost didn't want to agree with the vacationers who rated Skegness two stars on food and drink also. However, we checked and we couldn't join those furious about the rating. Yes, we found pizzas, snacks, even fish and chips and some drinks. But from an objective angle and compared with other seaside resorts, you will agree with one of the reviewers who described the chips as hit and miss. A new poolside cafe, which appeared to have been hurriedly set up, is now there selling Costa coffee. The stone-baked pizzas and snacks are not much like what is known as an English getaway and lack texture and taste. Tourist attractions. Two stars. This is not nice to Skeggy. Rating it as a measly two stars will continue to be debated. While it may not have been the best and still leaves much to be desired in the aspect of tourist attraction, the town appears to deserve more. After all, there are Skegness Aquarium, Skegness Pleasure Beach and Natureland Seal Sanctuary for tourists to check out. And these have, at one time or the other, got at least four-star ratings from tourists. When we look up the tourist attractions considered best in the town, we found that vacationers have one or two big issues, giving them serious minuses. 
It's either they're closed for repair or their operating hours are too short. An example is Fantasy Island, a park and amusement park on Sea Lane in Goldmel's Skegness, rated one star by Bing.com. Some others complain about the cost. If that is the concern, could anyone not just settle into the lovely, soothing and soft sand for a day of sunbathing, if the weather permits? The scenery. Two stars. We perfectly understand why the scenery of Skegness Resort Town got a two-star rating. It's not unconnected with the pier problem. Even if that is not the case, the scenery of the town will be difficult to change, leaving Skegness in a tough position. The town is fast declining. Value for money two stars. If you agreed with its two-star rating on scenery, you likely won't have any problem also with rating Skegness two stars for value for money. The town which had scored even lower than 48%, according to a famous magazine, has reason to consider significant price cuts. Yes, average hotel prices are among the lowest, at just £65 per night. Yet vacationers simply don't get value for the money spent, and they want more, even if it costs less than that. Shopping one star. The holidaymakers unanimously rated this seaside town one star for shopping. Going back 70 years in history, you'd have an idea of why the town can't do better than it is doing in shopping. You'll then appreciate the shopping arrangement there as satisfactory rather than comparing it with what is obtainable in better best seaside towns. Manufacturing firms have arrived in this town as far back as the 1960s, and this gave it prominence as a local commercial centre. The tourism industry stifles the growth of manufacturing. This makes tourism an important mover of the economy and employment. But don't forget that this is a mere seasonal business. Hence, businesses in the industry can't remain at their best throughout the year. This perhaps has been observed at times when those reviewers visit. If that is so, the town can't get more than a one-star rating for shopping. Peace and quiet. One star. A lot is being done to make this seaside town so peaceful and quiet. For instance, you are no longer allowed to bring your dog to the beach. It is either this is overdone or the efforts may not have yielded enough results. Sentiments apart, these 4,000 respondents are experienced enough in determining what is good and what is bad about a seaside resort. So we tend to agree with them more than disagree that again, Skegness, Lincolnshire is the worst seaside town in England. According to the Office for National Statistics, the ONS, Skegness is one of the most deprived seaside towns in England. There are so many older people in the town. An aged population can be a kind of economic liability. Thus, the town's aging population is contributing to the relatively high level of deprivation in the town. As the tourism sector is declining, the town's economy has been on a downward spiral. The tourism service's low wages are not helping the town economically. The matter is not helped by the town's inability to embark on economic diversification because of its poor transport and economic links. At this point, even if you are a resident of the town or have visited in recent years, it will be obvious to you too that Skegness is not the best when compared with others. And it is the worst seaside town in England. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.